In this first week of the course, we have focused on the question of how the internet works, with a particular view to what is unique and special about the internet, and how the aspects of its architecture and culture make it different from other forms of communication. As we have heard, the default nature of the internet has been, since its creation, a position of openness. All you need to do to join into the global conversation is to have a network connection and the willingness and capacity to abide by a set of technical protocols. But we have heard that this default position of open, which has fostered incredible innovation, is now coming under threat from businesses who want to lock consumers into a fixed platform and monetize customer data, and governments who want to be able to monitor our communications. A final point we want to ask this week is what is it like to live in internet space? We have considered how lawyers wrangled over the concept of whether the internet could be a jurisdiction of its own. Now we think about those who have grown up in cyberspace and what the current threats to the openness of the internet might mean to them. In this final part of the module, we will hear from Professor Gabriella Coleman, who holds the Wolf Chair in Scientific and Technological Literacy at McGill University. Professor Coleman is an expert on cultures of hacking and digital activism. In this section, she'll be talking about the internet as a homeland, drawing upon some observations made by Edward Snowden about his experiences as a child of the internet. This will provide us with the perfect starting place to move forward into next week's subject, hacking, leaking, and online activism. In next week's modules, we'll examine the actions of WikiLeaks and the leaks that shook the world, prompting the mainstream media to look more closely at government accountability. We will consider the revelations of Edward Snowden regarding the wholesale collection and monitoring of personal data by governments and businesses worldwide, and the growth of social activism and digital dissent in the global networked environment.